Watch as Neil Cavuto hosts special coverage of the State of the Union on Fox Business. Stunts diving another 216 points today, the third consecutive triple-digit loss for the Dow since the president came out swinging against the banks on Wednesday. Now, it seems Wall Street is trying to send a message to Washington, but is anyone listening? Joining me now, the Fox Biz All-Stars, Jonathan Honig, Adam Lashinsky, Gary V. Smith, and Nancy Skinner. So, Jonathan, you're not sure that message is resonating. Well, Neil, it's chilling this week. I mean, when you listen to the president, his contempt, his hatred uh, for Wall Street, for financiers is so evident. I mean, you rolled some of the clips earlier in your program. He believes that speculation is evil, that profit-seeking is what caused the collapse. And, and you heard that just the, the latest proposals of, of re-regulations. I mean, private equity and hedge funds had nothing to do with the credit crisis. These are profitable investments. And this is a president who would rather have banks make unprofitable loans in unproven green technologies than actually invest in businesses that make money. Nancy? You know, this is ridiculous. He doesn't hate Wall Street. You know what? Well, you could just as easily say Scott Brown got elected and the market tanked 5.5% since Scott Brown's election to, to uh, the center. I'll tell you what, the, what, the, what the message is to Wall Street is this. Four trillion dollars of wealth evaporated because banks gambled with, with our dollars, taxpayer dollars, and proprietary trading, and then we had to come bail them out. Now, even the TARP funds that were re but, repaid but were he a tiny say no more bailouts. of what they got. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't say no more bailouts, Nancy, though. He, does, he says more government control. He, do, he thinks that he Think knows you, better because than you know professional what? We bankers need, We do. learned a lesson, Jonas. If there are insured, if there are insured deposits, they should that, not be gambling correct. with money that the government has to back up. And there's nothing All wrong right. with that. If you want to have an investment fund, you know, I didn't you, realize you that that piece of legislation was, uh, you know, authored by a Frenchman. But nevertheless, I, 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 Go ahead, Gary, I, I, I'm kidding. But uh, Gary, now what though? I mean, um, if you're the president, and you're looking at the markets, and and you know, Nancy, give me right. You know, since. Uh, Scott's election, you know, we've seen the markets down. There are obviously a lot of factors there because of his time with the financial hit and all. But, but what's going on here? What are the markets telling us? Well, the markets, I think, are clearly saying they are fearful. And I think Jonathan had it right of uh, Obama's contempt, not just for Wall Street, just for business in general. I mean, wasn't it, it wasn't too well, long ago. Who do you think he, he hates worse, business Gary, in general or ridiculous. Fox? Well, <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm just glad he's got he some right other villain right now. That's what I'm I saying. I think he hates right now who, wherever he's going to lose the least amount of votes. That's that's where he's headed. But you know, the problem with the Obama is, you know, a anyone else would say, my gosh, Brown won in Massachusetts. My health care was dying even before Brown. Uh, you know, all the things I've raised up, I've not been able to get through cap and trade. You'd think he would be, and, and this, I never thought I'd say this, be like Bill Clinton, for crying out loud, you know, turn and say, maybe I want to try something new. But this is a guy who's in a hole, and instead of stop digging, he's digging even harder. And I think he's actually, in a, in a weird way, trying to kill the economy. Adam, what do you think of that? Well, on, you know, on Gary's political analysis just now, I happen to agree with him. I, I often disagree with Jonathan's <laughs> opinions, but I disagree with your, the factual inaccuracies that you made earlier, Jonathan, that private equity funds and banks had nothing whatsoever to do with the credit crisis. And I know you said facetiously there, what we need is more regulation then, right? That is what we need. So if I could sum up, Neil, look, a lot of things are going on in the market. Earnings expectations got ahead. People are concerned maybe the China growth story is slowing. Any week that the market is down, there's more than one thing that is the cause of that. I think the president is behaving badly and sort of piling on and saying, I'm going to win political points right now. No, he should be offering suggestions on regulation, making good legislative suggestions. Wait not a minute, then it sounds like he lost Morton Zuckerman earlier and now Adam Lachinsky. That's not a good day yeah. for him. That's exactly what he did. He's laying it's out down a proposal Nancy. to it's fix down to Nancy. it to, yeah, but, to happen. But, but you know what? You know what? The, the president but his tone speaks is Nancy, wrong, though, Nancy. in trillions okay. of dollars. The, the president speaks wrong. in trillions oh, of dollars. And he more. wants to right, kill right. the economy. Here, I wish I had more time I, to discuss tone, but uh, we have a lot to get to. Which is worse, eating one giant box of yodels or eating 10 mini boxes of yodels? Why the latest health care plan could be sold as a 